Hey Russell fam, we are doing a science experiment today called solar and lunar eclipses. But uh, I seem to be missing some people who were just here. Where'd they go? Oh, there's one. Where's the other one? Bailey, where'd you go? Yes, I'm behind the camera. Oh, well, you're way over here. I've been behind the camera. Okay, I'm here guys. <laughs> all right, now that we got all that figured out. For this experiment, we need a large ball, which we have a beach ball. We have another small ball, which we have a balloon. Whee! We have a flashlight. Someone to help. If y'all disappear again, then I don't have anybody to help. <laughs> no, you really won't. And a dark or dim room. Well, once we turn the light off, it'll be dark. You want me to do it? Yep, turn it off. Oh, Cece, turn the light on. All right, turn it back on, B. All right, in this experiment, this is going to get a little tricky. Where's Bailey? I don't know where he went again. Solid. All right, come on, Bailey. I'm here. All right. Sorry. In this experiment, we are going to place... I'm trying to practice my magic act, guys. Tell me if it's good. <laughs> we're going to place the ball right there. The large ball. Alright. And we place the large ball in the center of the room. If it tends to roll away, place a book or something there to hold it in place. Have a helper hold the flashlight and turn it on. Darken the room as much as possible. All right, Bailey, you go turn the light off. Sissy, you turn the flashlight on. So, what are we doing? All right, so, now, what we are going to do is have the helper stand a few feet away from the large ball you want me to do this and shine the flashlight on it. All right, so we're shining the flashlight on it. All right, about half of the large ball is bright. Y'all see it's half bright? This side isn't very bright. Yeah, this side over here is dark. This side over here is light. Alright, now we are going to Alright, we are going to hold the ball so that it is directly in between the flashlight and the large ball. So take the small ball and put it in between the flashlight. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I did this earlier. Yeah, there you go. All right, see it's how it's shadow. causing a shadow on there. All right. All right, now look at the large ball. Do you see the shadow on the large ball? You should. The small ball puts a blocking some of the light from the flashlight which results in a shadow. Part of your hand or your arm might be in the way, but just ignore that. Notice two things about the shadow coming from the small ball. First, it co covers only a small part of the large ball, right? Mm -hmm. Second, you should see that the shadow has two parts. There should be a very dark part of the shadow and then a very light shadow around the circle. So if you see this way, you see there's the dark part of the shadow and then it gets a little lighter. Slowly lift the small ball straight up so that it eventually is no longer blocking the light. Can I go? Yep. Slowly lift it up. A little faster. All right. It's in space. Oh, no, your arms are the way. There we go. So now we see that. The full big ball again. So you move the sm small ball so that it is still above the large ball and in between the small ball and the flashlight. Since the small ball is above the large ball, however, the small ball should still be lit by the flashlight. 
So when you lift it up here at the top, above, they are both yeah, they are both lit. See that? Mm -hmm. All right. So, in this activity, the flashlight represents the sun. The large ball represents the earth, and the small ball represents the moon. The first thing you did was simulate the moon blocking the sun's light. This is called a solar eclipse. Oh yeah, solar eclipse. So how cool was that? That's a really cool, really cool. experiment. Oh, and I recommend you guys trying this at home. Let's just turn the fly. There we go. All right, oh, Russell wow. fam. <laughs> now it's much brighter in here. So. What are we supposed to do? 